Next in line is, is the, I have to think of it as the lost family member returning home after hundreds of years of separation. This is a true tenor violin. Uh, historically speaking, the tenors are instruments that are exactly double the violin in size and dimension and down tuned down an octave. But uh, acoustic research has indicated you don't need to be quite that big to get the sound that you like. And the tenor restores to the orchestra a sound that you, you can't really duplicate by playing a cello up in higher positions, which is a lovely sound, but it, the color of it is not the same as, as in the tenor range. And the nice thing, although there's not much literature written for the tenor in modern times, since it is tuned an octave below the violin, any piece in the violin literature can be played on the tenor. However, I'm only going to ask Sarah for a scale. <laughs> I, I tend to, for some strange reason, like to build the large instruments. And so I, I've done a lot of research and development on this instrument, which is the, the baritone violin. You can see from the front, it looks just like a big cello of, of antiquity, which were about this 800 millimeter body length. But if you look at the side, you can see that modern acoustics tells us that the deep ribs of the cello aren't really necessary to get the lowest notes. It rather amazes people when they hear what this instrument is capable of doing. Historically, the cello, this instrument, is the lowest in the family, so it's often referred to as the bass, which is a little bit confusing because it might make you think of the larger basses in the back. But because we have two basses in our family, we, we call this instrument the baritone. It shows that it now plays a different role in, in this group. So let me see if we can play some scale and just to show them that low C string. playing by my latest creation. This is a chamber bass, or a small bass. Uh, historically, basses have come in many sizes and shapes and at least 40 different documented tunings. But this one is tuned in fifths, not in fourths. And you can see if you can avoid it. <laughs> That if, if you're used to looking at the big contrabasses in the symphony orchestra, these, these ribs are much, much lower in height than, than that of the contrabass. This instrument is intended to be in the gap acoustically between the standard cello, or our baritone, and the big contrabass. And it's tuned in fifths, it gives it a greater range, and it's, in, it's intended to kind of bring the bass players back into the world of, of chamber music, from which we really have been excluded for several hundred years. So this is the first one, and you guys are hearing it. This is only the second time it's been played in public. So Crane, if you wouldn't mind. contrabass, which as you can see from its, its size and its shape is a bass violin. It's not a contrabass stampo or violin. It is a true violin, and again the ribs are in proportion so that if you would take a picture of it, for example, and you had no clues as to the size from anything in the background of that picture, it would even look like a violin. Uh, this instrument 
is tuned a fourth lower tonight than the standard orchestral instrument is, is tuned because we have the other bass. It doesn't have to be up in that range anymore. And that really adds, for an arranger or a composer, it adds a great dimension to have the bass go down to a low B. Paul, take her away. tonight that we didn't do in our concert last week because a lot of the questions around these instruments say well what, what is really the difference between the mezzo violin let's say and a standard violin so I've asked Tom to to play uh, a little excerpt of a, of a Tchaikovsky concerto which he will just toss off and um, on first on his conventional violin and second on a mezzo. And I, I've asked him to, to get the best he can out of both of them, because the object of this is not to show that one is superior or inferior to the other, but to show how they differ in tone and what the mezzo sound is, is more like. So Tom, if you would find, thank you.